I think the problem with HR is that we have actually designed things that are not used in the real world. They don't even seem to be aware of the real world. Competencies is a perfect example, where we define leadership with so many different qualities that a particular person is supposed to have. Any one of us look at all of these qualities, goal orientation, customer focus, innovation, critical thinking, strategic thinking, and we look at that person and we go, that person does not exist. I have never met that person. And so almost immediately, every competency model reveals that HR is out of touch. Every model does that. Everyone in the real world looks at that and goes, never met that person. Immediately. Goals. The once a year goal alignment thing. Everybody knows that the goals that you set at the beginning of the year are relevant by the second week of the year. Everyone knows that in the real world. And so when a poor HR person calls up and says, fill out your goals, all of us basically hear that is, could you please move into our fantasy world? Move into our fantasy world for a little while. Could you do that? And then you go back and do the real work of real people in the real world. How about this one? Um, teams. We know that teams are super dynamic. That I know we have a static group of people I supposedly have report to me, but then the actual work of getting work done is a function of all of these dynamic agile teams as you and you and you and you come together to get this done for, I don't know, eight weeks, and then you and you and you come together to make get this done in four months. The real world is an agile dynamic world. So when you deploy your, I don't know, engagement survey against the static who reports to who boxes on the org chart, and then come back to each of these managers and go, well, here's your results, and it says in the results, N equals seven, and the manager goes, well, I don't have seven people. I've got 14 people over here, and seven people over here, and 15 over here. Are the seven part of this seven, and seven part of the 14, and seven part of the 15? And the poor HR person goes, I don't know, just, just do your stupid action plan and we'll come back next year. And it just seems like you're not, again, you're not in the real world. You're living in little fantasy hr -y world that is like a parallel universe. So all employee engagement surveys live in a parallel universe that doesn't actually reflect the real world of real teams where work or engagement actually happens. Performance management systems are the same. The goals that we set live in some, I don't know, like cascaded goals or aligned goals. It all seems so good in theory, but the reality is that goals and priorities shift so much driven by the local conditions or the local timing or the local needs of that particular client or that particular customer or that project, and they're moving so fast that any any goals you put in that supposedly align with the organization's strategic priorities are just a game of shadow puppets. It's, it makes someone up here, I don't know, feel good, but it's the illusion of control. It's the illusion of, of, of mechanism that makes a difference. The real world is a bunch of dynamic people in local teams trying to figure out what the heck are we going to do right now? Which hill are we going to attack right now? So for all of us in HR, whether we're looking at performance management systems, or employee engagement systems, or competency models, we've, we've designed systems that are, they're like muggle world. There's the world of Harry Potter that's like the real world, the full magical world, and then there's a separate sort of muggle world of HRness that's an, a world that's irrelevant to the real challenges that a real team leader or team member faces. And so as we move into the next, I don't know, three or four years, the biggest challenge for all of us in HR is going to be to get real. Just get real. Which begins with saying, where does performance actually happen? It happens on dynamic teams. Who's the source of truth about which teams exist? Well, it's not you, HR. It's the team leader. Let's get real.